Hey all y'all, I am racking my choke cherry wine today. So like I promised, I am giving you another um, step-by-step -step instruction on how to ferment your own whatever you have growing, <laughs> okay? So I have got my choke cherry in my bucket here and here's my specific gravity meter in here. And actually this could have been done a day or two ago. So we're sitting at more than enough where we have um, indicated that we have changed the sugar into alcohol, okay? So I will record that number on my little sticky note. This is how official all this is. I will record that number. So we're just gonna take the lid off and I have sterilized all my equipment and I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna like siphon it into a carboy, which is one of these big glass jugs. And then it's just gonna sit here. You know, we stick an airlock on top of it after that has all gone into my jug. And then we also add Camden tablets, okay? So you crush them up and it's one tablet per gallon. So this is a five gallon carboy. So I'm gonna crush up five tablets and then I just add that powder in there as well. So what that does, it, it helps to like sterilize it so you don't get anything funky growing in there because <laughs> you don't want that happening, right? So that is the deal. So yeah, my sterilizing solution, you have to mix this up because this is like super concentrated. And then you just sterilize all your stuff and you you watch the magic happen here is it goes from my um, bucket into our carboys and then yeah we airlock them and they just sit so eventually that yeast that is still in there is gonna settle to the bottom and then you just move it again you move it into a clean one so that would be called racking that's what I'm doing today so I'm racking my choke cherry wine <laughs> so that is the process and then yeah like I said as the yeast continues to settle it will die off so you don't want it to sit on there long term so then you you know, rack it into another clean one and you just kind of dump that yuck at the bottom. So that's how that happens. And then it'll start to clear instead of being kind of a cloudy pink like this, it'll clear. So it's really crystal clear and beautiful. And that is when you bottle it. So about six months from now, we will be bottling the choke cherry. But before then I have other varieties that I'm going to bottle. So I'll fill you in on how that's done too. <laughs> okay. Hope you're having a good Monday.